Hey everyone, my name is Marshall. I'm a licensed barber here in Idaho Falls, Idaho. And today I'm gonna to show you some tips and tricks on how to keep your hair system lasting as long as possible. Now, whether you are a licensed professional that offers this service to your clients, or you wear one of these every day, these are just some things that I do to keep these lasting as long as possible. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is wash the hair system. As you can see, this is not on a client. Um, I don't wash hair systems that are attached to a client's head. Um, when a client comes in to have their their hair system refreshed, I take it completely off, get all the adhesive off of the base, give it a deep clean, and then I'll go in and shampoo and condition before putting it back on. So as you can see, I uh, painted the shampoo on with my hands and now I'm brushing it through with a wet brush and a thick tooth comb. Um, I recommend doing that. You don't want to agitate the hair um, like you like you would with your natural hair. Um, that could cause it to knot and could cause some serious damage to it. Um, so I paint it on in the orientation that the hair is worn and then uh, comb it through with either, like I say, a wet brush and or a thick tooth comb. I don't recommend using a fine tooth comb of any sort on your hair system um, unless you're doing like some fine detailing when you're styling. Uh, but for something like this, a, a fine tooth comb is just going to cause so much friction and so much damage to the hair. Um, so same thing with the conditioner. I'll go ahead and paint that on here. Um, and then I'll brush it through, make sure it penetrates all those hairs um, and gets gets in there the best we can. Um, one thing to note with your shampoo and conditioner is you want to use something that's moisture rich and uh, sulfate free. That's going to cause the least amount of damage to the hair. Um, as you know, our hair systems don't get the natural moisture and oils from our uh, scalp that our natural hair does. So adding a moisture rich shampoo and conditioner along with a good oil is going to keep it um, lasting as long as possible. So as I get this uh, product out of the hair here, um, you, I just want to note you want to keep the water as cool as possible. Um, you don't want to use hot water. Um, it's that would just damage the hair and and help loosen those knots. So when I wash hair systems, um, I I use almost pretty cold water. Um, it doesn't have to be cold water, pretty tepid, lukewarm, um, but more on the cool side. And that's just going to help protect that hair and um, the knots and all that. So once I get all that product out of there, uh, go ahead and shake that out. Keep it in the orientation that we want to style it in. Now I attached it to a doll head, but it's not attached to a doll head. So bear with me um, as I work through this. But once the hair is washed, um, you don't want to dry it with a towel. You can pat it dry with a towel, but you don't want to agitate it. Again, it'll cause knots and some damage to the hair. Um, I'm going to spray two spritz of leave-in conditioner, and then I'm going to brush that through, make sure that penetrates all that hair. Again, in the orientation that I want to style it in, that just helps train the hair to sit how you want it. Um, hair systems are different than natural hair, so you have to give them a little extra work to get them to sit how you want them. So I'm going to get all that in there, and then I'm going to use my blow dryer just to give it a good dry. Now, typically, I would let this air dry as long as possible, um, but you can use a blow dryer to help speed up that process. Um, I would recommend using a low heat. You, it doesn't matter how high you have the, the blow dryer on. Um, just use a lower heat setting and you can, you know, brush and comb through that hair just to help it go the direction you want. Typically, I would use a paddle brush or a comb or even my fingers just to separate the hairs and help them dry faster. Um, but again, we're on a, a doll head with and it's not attached. So it's it's a little trickier um, for this video. Now, for the sake of time, I've sped up these videos. Um, I don't usually work this fast, but um, you know, this isn't a fast process. Hair systems are um, tricky and they're a whole different lifestyle is what I tell my clients. So, you know, you just have to be patient with them and, and work with them to get them to where you want them to be um, as far as styling and the way they sit on your head and things like that. So I'm gonna continue brushing this a little bit more um, and blow drying it out just to get some of that water out of there because again, we don't towel dry. Then I'm going to take just a, a little dab of oil and I'm going to work that in my hands and then work that through the hair. Um, you don't want the hair to be too wet when you do this because water repels oil. So you want that oil to soak into that hair. Um, you want to keep that hair as moisturized as possible. So I recommend a good oil 
that um, does not have alcohol in it, that's natural. Um, and I actually recommend using oil at least once or twice a day just to keep that hair moisturized. So I'm going to work that oil in and then I'll continue um, blow drying and styling. Again, you can, you know, comb it where you want it, let it sit and air dry. Um, typically what I do is once it gets pretty dry, then I'll use more oil to style the hair um, and then just finish it with a little bit of a light uh, hairspray. I typically don't use a lot of pomades or gels in hair systems. They, they just build up too quickly um, and they can damage the hair. I don't recommend washing your hair system more than like once a week. Um, obviously your lifestyle and some things go into that. Um, but if you can, if you can make your hair system last a week in between shampoos, then that's gonna also um, keep that longevity and let make it last longer. So um, as you can see, I'm going through with my paddle brush and just the blow dryer. It's, again, it's not attached, so bear with me um, while we work on this. Um, and then one other thing I would recommend with your hair system is either wearing a do-rag or some kind of silk cap or bonnet at night when you're sleeping, or even just using a silk pillowcase. That's gonna reduce the friction on your hair and keep it lasting longer. Mm -hmm.